National Parts Depot, just to give you a little bit of background, is a uh, worldwide uh, wide retailer, mostly mail order, of restoration parts for popular classic cars. Well, my dad's first car, which really started him uh, into business as well, he bought this 1928 Model A when he was 14 years old out of a junkyard in Ohio, and in the process of restoring it, he uh, needed correct hardware and fasteners and found that the, good, the right stuff was not available, so he got into the business of reproducing and offering hardware kits for Model A's when he was still in high school. So that is really what got him into the parts business, and he did that uh, in the evenings and on weekends while he worked for my grandfather during the day. And then in 1976, he started National Parts Depot, which, uh, which uh, deals with more modern classic cars from the 50s, 60s, and 70s. So we've always held on to this car because this car is really where it all started. And all through my lifetime, growing up as a child, uh, Dad was always buying and selling cool cars. We always had collectible cars and muscle cars coming and going, but we could never afford, nor did we have the space to hold on to any of it. And uh, Dad was always, you know, working tirelessly seven days a week, building the business. Um, when right around 1989 was when this collection, as you see it, not just the couple of cars that we had held on to through the years, but we really started collecting actively in 89. Dad went to Hershey, purchased a 1957 Mercury at Hershey. Shortly after that, he bought a turbocharged 89 Trans Am, and next thing you know, we were collecting cars, and, and today it's up to about a 175 vehicles. Most of them, Dad and I have purchased together on our outings. This is a 57 Turnpike Cruiser, Mercury Turnpike Cruiser. It's not the Mercury my dad bought in, in 89. That was a, a Montclair, but it, it, it looks very much the same. This is a special car in that it's got a special, uh, um, uh, it's called the N335. It was Mercury's racing engine in 1957. This engine is what makes this car really so rare. Um, the M335, they only produced 100 of these, and and uh, all hundred of them were pretty much stripped down race cars except for this one was Bill Strope's personal car and he was it was his shop that uh, that built all of these M335 engines so it's got the, uh, the big dual quad engine in it with air conditioning and just every option that could get possible but it's, it's really a one-of-a-kind car. This is a 1956 Continental Mark II. These were really hyper expensive exclusive cars back in the, in the mid-50s. They were all virtually hand-built um, they cost ten thousand dollars back in 1956. You could buy a, you could buy a house for ten thousand dollars in 1956. Um, this particular car belonged to uh, William Clay Ford Sr., who was uh, Henry Ford's grandson. And William Clay Ford Sr. is also the owner of the Detroit Lions. He's still living today. He's up there in years, but he's still living. This is uh, easily the ugliest car in our collection, and it's not even really a car. It's a styling prototype of the 1984 Ford Tempo. And this is how they would have, before they did it all on computer, this is how they would have mocked up a potential car so that they could take it up, bring, show it to executives and get, and get their approval. But it's made out of, this whole entire thing is just made out of Bondo and wood and Lexan and chrome tape. It's just a complete fabrication of a, of a car. This is a 93 uh, Mustang GT. 1993 was the last year for the, what was called the Fox Body Mustang, and this is the very last one to roll off the assembly line. I've actually got film footage of this car rolling off the uh, Dearborn assembly line. So it's the last Fox Body, and I've also got the very first Fox Body serial number one from 1979. So I've got the, kind of the bookends for the entire uh, Fox generation of, of Mustangs. And we're currently, uh, we're well well into a 200,000 square foot expansion of our warehouse that's, that's going on on the wall right uh, on the other side of the wall right behind us. It'll give us room that we can start carrying GTO parts. It's my 67. People probably see me driving the 67 GTO around town more than anything else. I drive that a lot. And we're also going to do uh, Fox Body Mustang parts. And once we uh, have the extra space, the extra 200,000 square feet, we'll make a lot more room for the cars and get them spread out to where they're more accessible and to where people can, can get to see them easier. That's a brand new Torino right there, that's only got eight miles on it, it was never sold new.